And now, your Storm Track 3 weather rate forecast. Crystal clear skies are the story across the Sunflower State today. We are seeing a few clouds mainly along the Oklahoma Kansas state line. But if you look just north of Great Bend here where some of that white is moving on the screen, that's where we're starting to see a few fair weather clouds try to pop up. Just some nice wispy cirrus clouds out there. A few cumulus trying to form as well. But overall, the sunshine is going to be the main trend today. Temperatures in Great Bend pushing into the upper 50s, 58 degrees. Winds staying out of the north northeast at 7 miles per hour. Winds will stay out of the northeast for the most part today and I'll keep temperatures a little bit on the cooler side still below average for this time of year but we're already pushing into the 60s across southern Kansas 61 currently in Wichita 65 in Liberal 71 as you head over towards Elkhart but the northern half of the region still holding on to some of those 50s 58 in Great Bend 58 in Colby winds are starting to change as we look out towards towards western Kansas some southerly flow pushing in winds are going to be on the breezier side today currently winds are sustained at 17 miles per hour in Wichita 13 miles per hour over, miles per hour over in Garden City but Wichita is seeing more of that northerly flow southerly winds will take over as we move into the next few days and that will help our warming trend. But right now we're under the influence of high pressure that's currently moving its way through Colorado. That's what's keeping our skies so nice and clear and also what is going to help us see some fair weather over the next few days with sunshine being the main story. By this afternoon we'll push into the upper 60s. Overnight we do fall back down into the 40s here in the Wichita area. Overall, though, a very pleasant next 24 hours. Again, still below average, just slightly, but we are watching temperatures late tonight for areas across north central Kansas, even up into a few of our Nebraska counties, falling back closer to the low 30s, which is why we have freeze warnings in place from 1 a.m. through 9 a.m. on Tuesday. So cover any sensitive plants if you live closer to the Nebraska state line. But the rest of us will be dealing with clear skies over the next 24 hours. We're seeing those winds start to change, being a little bit more southerly across the western half of the state by tomorrow and we'll see some moisture try to move in with that southerly flow late Tuesday along the Colorado Kansas state line but as we move farther into Wednesday that's when we have better chances for rainfall at least across northwest Kansas as we move into the overnight Wednesday into Thursday pockets of heavy rain even a few rumbles of thunder are possible we might even see some showers across southwest Kansas as well that's Wednesday night into Thursday and then Thursday brings a better chance for more widespread moisture across the sunflower state. A warm front will be lifting across the region. We'll be seeing plenty of moisture move in. Some dry time mixed in, but by the time we move towards the evening, we could see a few more rumbles of thunder and some strong winds across the region. Isolated pockets of heavy rain are possible. So that's the day that we're going to be seeing more beneficial moisture across the region before we dry out for the weekend. But off and on, rain chances linger with us all the way through Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures stay in the 80s for the second half of the work week before we cool off on Sunday back into the upper 70s, which which is about on par with our average for this time of year. North central Kansas will be dry through the first half of the week. 60s today, 70s for tomorrow and Wednesday before we settle into the 80s and see a much more active pattern Thursday through Saturday with rain chances off and on carrying us towards the weekend. Southwest Kansas will be in the 70s for the next several days, pushing into the 80s on Thursday with that chance of moisture arriving. A little bit drier in southwest Kansas as we move closer to the weekend, with temperatures settling back into the upper 70s by the time we look towards Saturday and Sunday. Northwest Kansas will be in the 60s today, climbing into the 70s for the next few days before we finally break into the 80s on Thursday with scattered showers expected across the region before we dry out for the weekend. Keep it here. We'll be right back after the break.